Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy with your daily health tip and I'm going to be talking about journaling and how it relates to energy. And before I say anything else, I want to invite you to my energy workshop. Uh, it's coming up Tuesday, April 30th. It's free. It's from 7 to 8. It's be in the office. Uh, people are signing up. It's always a rush at the last minute. All of the classes and the subjects I do are offered once a year. If you can't make this energy class, you're going to have to wait till next April. Um, it's going to be all about natural things you can boost energy. If you walk away with even one tip that changes your life, I mean, how much is that worth? It's a free workshop. I would actually say it's part of your care. I'd love to see you there. So sign up, let the office know that you're going to be coming and who you're going to be bringing. Now, journaling, what is the power in this? And this is my journal over here. Uh, I love this thing. I love journals. I've gone through so many. I've been doing it uh, for years now and I'll go through phases where I'm very active and I take a break but every time I'm active with it it really helps what is the purpose of a journal how do you buy a proper journal so what you want to do is actually um, if you go to the local bookstore you want to spend you know it's up to you I'm just gonna tell you what I do but spend a little bit of money because every time you you touch it you look at it it should inspire you uh, it should be your favorite color it should be something that it's just something you should look forward to, um, something that, you know, you want to write in it and you want to put in your concepts and you want to use the journal in multiple ways. Now, some people will get up in the morning and they're writing all these things they're grateful for. And that's one way to use it. And that will obviously boost your energy. Another way it can help you as well is if you want to de-stress. If there's something bothering you, you're like, I don't even know what the solution to is, get it out of your system, especially before you go to bed. You'll sleep better. You're going to get more energy. You can use this for your dreams, your hopes. I like to use this for, for when I meditate with maybe something I'm trying to figure out. Or um, literally, sometimes when I'm meditating, I'm just getting like, I'm kind of planning out my day, right? So you use it for planning, writing. It's almost like having a personal assistant with you and you're just getting all these thoughts out. But the more you write, whether there's something you're excited and celebrate, celebrating and you want to write about it, there's something bothering you and stressing you, you write about it. Either way, it's going to help you. Uh, you get to express yourself, get it out of the system, and it just boosts your energy. It's a very powerful tool. If you're a parent and your kids are old enough, I'd highly recommend uh, you get them to journal. Now, with journaling, what makes it powerful? My opinion, don't really share the contents of it with anyone unless you choose to, unless you have a breakthrough, there's something exciting, uh, something that really inspires you, uh, then you can have someone... Um, you know, if you choose to, you can share it with them. But I think there's a power in just writing. You don't need to share all your thoughts or whatever with other people, but keep it in that book. And a couple of tips I would give you as well is I have the same spot that I get up every morning in my family room and it gets me in that place. I literally come in the family room. I turn on the lights. We have this awesome fireplace. I turn it on. Um, I start listening to some meditations. I start writing. In seconds, I get in that zone. I also like to get up a little bit earlier before the family so I just have that time of silence. Um, so you see what works for you. You might find it very powerful in the morning. You might find it very powerful before you go to bed, maybe midday at lunchtime. It's something to do. This is a very powerful way to think. It's a powerful way to boost your energy. And if you're open to this, I would say as soon as possible, go to a good bookstore, invest in it, get a nice journal that you carry with you at all times, and just write down your thoughts you're getting throughout the day, and then also reflect on it. And that's probably something I can even work on as well, but you're going to get some cool thoughts. You're going to look back. Uh, it's a very powerful tool. It's, it's twofold. It's a de-stressor, and it'll give you energy. It'll inspire you. The other thing I would say to you as well is also carry this journal with you, and then write in different places. Now, the weather is slowly getting better here, so Maybe being out in nature, <clears throat> in fresh air, in the backyard, having the sunlight on you when you do the writing. Maybe listening to certain types of music as you do your journaling. Uh, for me as well, um, I love to go there, uh, you know, on my days off or anything, but on uh, go to like a, a coffee shop, go to a Starbucks or something like that. Uh, take your journal with you. Go to a local library and you'll be just, you get all this good information, these good thoughts. So uh, it's a powerful tool. It's a de-stressor. It'll boost your energy. Please invest in a good journal. It just, it makes such a difference. I can't tell you, you got to experience it. And you know, another thing you may want to do is add some color to it. Maybe you want to do some drawing, use some different things, but this will help you find a lot of solutions. It's a powerful tool. So check it out. God bless. Please follow, like these videos. 
Uh, I'm on Facebook. I'm on uh, YouTube. I've been making these videos in a video format because more and more people I know I like videos. So I've kind of done my research. Video seems to be the way things are going. So we're going to make more videos than before. God bless and we'll see you again.